The landscape of an east side Youngstown neighborhood has been drastically changed. What for 150 years was filled with small businesses, homes, and a Catholic church is being transformed into a high tech center. A follow up tonight on how construction of the new Chilcam plant is changing part of the city. This is the shot from atop YSU Stadium. You can see how the landscape between Himrod and Oak Street has changed. The land cleared for what will become Youngstown's new Chilcam plant. This was the same neighborhood just seven months ago where houses and trees once stood. There's now an unobstructed view of downtown. Yep, the east side is going to change. That's most definite. For the better. For the better. It's amazing that I'm involved with this. It's, it's just the, the used to ride a bicycle up here as a young kid. I toured the Chill Can site today with owner Mitchell Joseph and general contractor John Panunzio, whose grandmother once lived up the street. In the center there is where the, where the pile aster goes and the column for the building will sit on. Along with the footers being poured, stakes outline where the first building will go. The original plans were for four buildings. In fact, there's so much property here that we're going to add two more buildings. So there'll be six production buildings instead of four and still have a East Coast corporate headquarters. Around the corner is New Hope Baptist Church, where Pastor Kevin Crum says the new plant could lead to more development. I am so excited to see industries moving back, not just to Youngstown, but to the east side of Youngstown. And it's been so long, and I think the whole community is excited about it. Along North Lane Avenue, where the property dropped off, 14 feet of dirt was added. While we were there, someone showed up to check if it was compacted properly. Mitchell Joseph's family once ran Star Bottling on this very same land. And while digging, a Star brand bottle was found, dating back 100 years. We were surprised and excited. You know, we, we knew this was going to have a lot of meeting the Mitchell. By July, the first building should have a roof, and the plan is to have chill cans being made by the first or second quarter of next year. When it's all done, there should be 250 new jobs.